everyone, I'm Abby. I'm Nate, behind the camera today. And we are the RC Sailors. I know I'm gonna say this wrong, but I'm gonna say it how I wanna say it. We're here today with the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone. <laughs> Some people call it the Xiao Mi. <laughs> Xiao. And we have not gotten this in the air yet. We're struggling, struggling a lot. This is actually gonna be our fourth time, well, my fourth time at least, Nathan's third, because I've taken this in my own hands to try to get this to fly by myself, done research, maybe we'll get in the air. Or at the very least, maybe you guys can help us figure out what we're doing wrong. You guys know us and our channel. When we experience problems, we're very forward with the information because we do not want you to have similar headache, stressful problems that we have. Hopefully you can hear us over these loud construction workers down the road. They just started. Yeah. The main issue we've had with this is the compass calibration. And I finally figured that out. I've gotten it to calibrate twice. So let's see if we can get that done today at least. So we'll turn the transmitter on first. Then we'll turn the drone on. And from the videos I've watched, you calibrate it without the props on and without the gimbal on. So, Which is crazy. Shouldn't have to do that. Also another issue we've had is the final update. I think it's called 4K Relay is not going through. It goes to 50, I think the highest I've gotten it is 55% and then it just, nothing. <laughs> it just won't update, it fails. We've tried to retry several times, start, you know, turn the drone off, back on, just nothing. We've seen a lot of people online that say this is one of the best drones they've ever had, up there with the Mavic even. And we've also, since having issues with ours, have realized a lot of people are having issues with theirs as well. This might help. <laughs> I don't like this. The USB dongle. I hate that. Yeah, why didn't they just install it in the <laughs> I transmitter? Don't know. I always forget it and I'm like, where's the signal? All right, take two. Also, Transmit. some people might ask, why are we using the USB dongle instead of just plugging in like a lot of people would recommend? That's because. It doesn't let us plug in. It only <laughs> lets us connect via Wi-Fi. So if we can't get this to work on my phone, We're which is mine today. not the iOS 11 software, it's the one before that. If we can't get it to work on mine, we're gonna try Nathan's Android phone. So here's the Wi-Fi signal connected on my phone. Now let's open the app, checking the connection. I really hope we can get this to fly. Like. When Nathan did the unboxing, we did it premature and we released it premature because we hadn't flown this yet because we just thought this was going to be a no-brainer. We really, really thought that. But now... GPS mode. GPS mode. But now we're not so sure. <laughs> All right. I've calibrated it twice at home. It does know where we're at right now. Should I do another calibration? Yeah, you have to do a calibration when you go to a new location. I thought some of them were like when nope. it's within nah, a certain distance. Nah. We're over five Just miles away. For calibration. I would suggest a new calibration. All right, start. First step, horizontal calibration. Calibration failed. Failed. Please try again. Woohoo! And that's... We're getting that a lot. We're getting that a lot. Let's try a new location here. The frequency signal or whatever it's called is going from bad to medium to good. I've never seen it flash good before. Wow. I, I know this isn't gonna work, it's taking too long, but. <sighs> Calibration failed. So in our Giving Tree update video, we mentioned that we were having some issues with this drone and a couple of you guys recommended that if we couldn't get it to work, try a different spot and like change the direction it's facing. So here we are changing the direction. <laughs> that seems extremely jerry-rigged if you ask me to have to rotate the direction and like that just doesn't seem right. 
but we'll try it because we want to see this in the air. We've seen other people fly it. Uh, we've also seen a lot of people avoid mentioning this problem. There's a lot of people that have done videos on this that seem to have kind of issues getting it in the air and they never really address this. I've, I've well, personally... Well, that's how the DJI fanboys are too. They'll never mention any issues they have with the updates yeah. and all that. Yeah. We're not afraid to point the bad stuff out here. I mean, you know, but the main reason, don't get us wrong, don't get the vibe of this video wrong. We're a little annoyed, yes. 4K RC Relay, that's the update that I've never gotten to go through. Should I try it or no, just no, no, skip no, no. it? No, 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 we're gonna just try to, yeah. Just skip it? I yeah, took a screenshot of it Yeah, you've gotten though. it calibrated in the past. What I was saying, the main reason for this video is because we're kind of reaching out to you guys for a little help. Um, and give now us some... I'm, I'm also getting a different, uh, error message the previous time when i took off at or tried to turn it on at the picnic table i got uh cannot take off no gps or whatever now it's giving me that error i got back at our house compass interfered please change takeoff point so let me just see if i can get it to calibrate just for the sake of let's see if it'll work uh, what i was saying horizontal calibration we just want to see if you guys can give us any tips are we doing something wrong after this attempt, we're going to turn it all off and use my phone. See if it's maybe, it, uh, you know, it was designed to operate on Android, but it says it works on an iPhone as well. So we'll see if it works on my phone next in the same video. I, think, I don't think it's going to work for you, Abby. And I do think you're going too fast as well. It's what I did the other night, though. Okay. Well, if that's about this speed. This is you... exactly how I did it. Okay. We were very hopeful that we could get it in the air in this video for you guys. You know, part of what we do, we didn't want to leave this one open-ended. You know, we could have we could have just never done a video follow-up with this drone. Second and step, vertical calibration. Wow, it worked. Calibration failed. No! Ah. Ah. Off camera, we have fiddled with this with my phone for 15 minutes or so. It is just going to a white blank screen to log in. To log in. We hit log in and it won't even go past that. Go ahead and error message one time. Log in. Give up. Uh, we disconnected my phone. We're trying Abby's again just for one last go. Calibration failed. Please try again. <sighs> Calibration failed. Compass calibration success. And of course we weren't filming. Weren't filming because we've been doing this a thousand times. And I still have the same error message. Compass interfered. Please change takeoff point. So I'm going to walk around <laughs> and see if it'll let us take off. Uh, Nate's going to go get the props while I just walk around, I guess. Cool. Because you know, when you want to fly a drone. Now it says GPS. Could, could take off. GPS so, could take off. GPS could take off now right there. So we're back. No, now it's back to the error message. Now, got the error message now. Because <laughs> when you want to fly a drone, this is what you're supposed to do. Walk around a field till you find where the drone wants to take off. This is convenience at its finest. Uh-huh. It's only taken us 45 minutes today to get to this point. Does it like it there? How, how about now? <laughs> it wants to take off up here. Wow. It, is, it likes it there? No. No. Oh. Likes it in the air. Trying to trick it. Okay, I'm gonna go get the gimbal and props. I think the drone likes it there. Good, good drone. Happy drone. It likes it right here. And what's funny is the message doesn't say ready to take off. It says could take off. Could take off. So GPS mode. What did it say? Drone in GPS mode. Well, that's a good thing, right? Probably. Don't move it too much. I just I'm gonna tip it. <laughs> please don't get mad. Please, please don't. <laughs> please. <laughs> Am I going to fly this one since I've put in more effort yeah, than you? Yeah, yeah, this is all you. <laughs> all you. 
Here's the thing. We're probably going to end up doing a second video as soon as this gets in the air. If it gets in the if, air. If it gets in the air, we're going to snap to a second video. So sorry, guys. And in that video, the flight video, we're probably going to say, oh, this is the greatest drone ever. I but hope we don't. <laughs> I hope we don't too. And if in that video we say it's the greatest drone ever, I want everyone to refer back to this video <laughs> to see the pain you have to go through to get this in the air. I mean, this has been, this has been the worst drone to get flight ready. And by the way, we don't live in a no-fly zone. This field is not in a no-fly zone. Right. We can fly here. So it's not that, uh, We've, as Nathan had said before, we fly all our stuff here. Let's find the takeoff button. All right, all right. Here we go. I'll Can we do this? It may just explode. It may explode. <laughs> you left your phone. Oh, okay. Now here, guys. All right. Can I push the button? We're getting ready to fly. Everyone, thanks a lot for watching. Now we'll we see you. Let's see if it goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I haven't worked this hard. Okay, here we go. not do this. All right. The drone will take off and hover at four meters high. Please ensure the drone take off in an open area away from crowds. To be continued. This is to be continued. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys in the flight video. Bye.